Josh, great to see you. I understand you're living on a vegan diet at the moment. Uh, how long have you been vegan and what inspired you to make the change? I've been vegan probably about a year and a half. I was vegetarian at first. A, a lot of people at, at Bristol City would like sort of fluctuate between like trying vegan meal, be vegan for a bit. Scott Goldburn, um, when he's at Bristol City, he was fully like plant based. I remember looking at his plate and thinking, I don't know how he's eating that. Like, it just looks just like the taste, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. Um, I think I tried it probably for about a week, a while after that. I was just watching, it was on Netflix, uh, what the health it was at, at first. So I was like, oh, do you know what? I'll just, I'll try it, uh, see how we get on uh, with that, which was quite difficult. Um, but I did it for a while and then I watched Game Changers. I was just sort of really interested in it. What were they were saying on there? I sort of believed and, and I thought, you know, I'd give it a good go and I'll just go vegan and see it can't be that hard like compared to what I'm used to now. Uh, but when I was vegetarian, I lost a lot of weight at first because I didn't, when you take meat out, it obviously has a lot of calories and stuff in meat and I weren't really substituting it with anything at the time. The research into it, I realised I just had to eat a lot more. Uh, I could have a lot more calories. Um, and yeah, and now an I'm here today, not at meat for, for a good year and a half, I think. Some of the world's top players have adopted a plant-based diet, like Messi, Aguero, Alex Morgan. We all know that diet is a huge factor for any athlete. What are the main benefits that you've felt from it? I think the main thing uh, that stood out to me was the recovery times in between games, muscle soreness after games. I was feeling more fresh going into games. It's weird because like when I'd eat a meal and I used to feel tired after eating meat, like what I eat now, like I don't feel tired, I don't feel heavy. In the championship at the time, it was, you know, you play Saturday, Tuesday quite a lot. So I thought that would help with that. And it was, this year has been quite relentless as well at times. And I've recovered really well and, you know, really quick to, to game. So for me, I, I feel a lot of benefits from it in, in what I need. Um, you know, I've seen at the times where like a few of my stats went up as well. So I feel like it's, it's, it's helped me a lot. Are there any teammates of yours at the moment who are also vegan? No, I don't think so. Jay Rodriguez is, is pescatarian, uh, so he'll have his fish and, and, and whatnot. Uh, but he'll have like vegan meals here and there. It's surprisingly like a lot of things you can have with, with, if, you, if, you, if you can be vegan. It doesn't really like change how it tastes really. Like, you know, I think uh, I've even with a few of my mates, um, like they've tried some certain things and a few lads of football have and oh yeah, it's really nice, it's not really taste much of a difference. So I think it's, it's getting a lot better. There's a lot of brands out there that, you know, do make good alternatives and, you know, there's the important side of it, the nutrition is there. That can be a bit of a myth surrounding veganism that you can't get enough protein, which I'm sure you can shed a light on with like what you eat. Yeah, well, it's just like, say, like, all the beans and the greens and sort of tofu. Like, I'm, I'm a big fan of tofu, fried tofu and, and, and whatnot. So, I, you know, and there's even like some of the fake meats that you get from like fake chicken, fake sausages or they're full of protein. So for me, I feel like I, I get all the protein that I need. Like I, I had my blood done not long ago and they're all perfect. A lot of vegans have dropped animal products from their diet to support things like animal rights and climate change. So does the ethical side of it ever come into play for you? It didn't at first. Um, that wasn't the main thing for me. I mean, it kind of is now, like, obviously, because I've, I've read a little bit, I've watched a few videos, and you sort of realise, sort of, like, why it happens to, to the animals before you get your meat, um, and, it's, and it's not nice to perform at the highest level, like for, for me, um, and everything I need, like, I don't need to eat animals, animal products, so it's, like, what, why should I? What advice would you offer to anyone who's thinking about a vegan diet, or, you know, could be slightly on the fence about moving from being a vegetarian to, to being vegan? I would say take, sort of take your time, and if you go from one day to the next day, and just change everything, it, I think it'll be a lot. It'll be a lot harder for you. Like I did first steps from going to the vegetarian to getting used to not eating meat, and then looking more into you know cutting dairy out to you know because dairy is obviously in a lot of things. But yeah, just definitely try it and just take your time. Don't sort of hurry the process. Brownhill looks to fancy it. Oh, what a strike from Josh Brown.